There was an interview, Charles. You hear about this with Tucker and and Putin? You you're talking about you're talking about Russia. Yes, Tucker. You're talking about he now he's from like Fox. Is he he has sort of a Glenn Beck. I, I'm not a Glenn Beck trajectory because it was different with him, but he was was on Fox News, became a kind of a new thing, and then got thrown off. Is is that the whole script that they run? That's the script. I'm All sure right. he was thrown off, and he didn't want to be thrown yeah. off, Charles. He had a good thing going, but yeah, sure, sure. He couldn't keep his mouth shut. Oh, oh I get it, I get it. Oh, he's he's a people's guy. I mean, and and yeah. Yeah, now he's got a bow tie like out of Pee Wee Herman. It's the one that spins. Yeah, but this, he's not joking around though. Like oh. like that's not a so, joke. No, we're talking about the future of the nation. Yes, and he wants us to actually hear it unedited for a change because that's journalists' jobs. That's his job. That's and, the job. And that's why you should love them more. You think you love them enough, but you actually don't love them enough. You should love them more. And I'm curious what, I mean, this, what is, it's just, well, it's I a, mean, what am I supposed to say about this? Well, it's a history lesson from hell. Don't tell me that there's, now I do, rem, like I scroll things fast. I scroll through things fast. I don't, I, I try not to read the headlines, but I do remember history lesson. And I say, I say, you're telling me a head of state is going to be giving history lessons online? I say, what is this, so Looney Tunes? Given the bow tie, yes. There it is. This is, what's this straight up Looney Tunes? What do you think, I was born yesterday? I saw the stuff on Looney Tunes. I've been ready for this stuff for freaking 50 years. I hear all types of crap, like Tucker Carlson's father has been running uh, propaganda, <coughs> news propaganda for... God knows how, you know, that was his uh, so, job. Okay, so he's a sort of a, an informational uh, warrior, I guess you could call him. I don't, think he, wars. I don't think he fell in love with journalism, like with a high school paper or anything like that. I think it was kind of a different situation. It was a different, it was a sort of military aspect of the of, of uh, hearts and minds, right? Is that what, what the phrase was? You remember the whole Iraq thing back in the day? Like, hearts and minds, we have to win their hearts and minds. I don't know what they were talking about. It just reminded me of a freaking Mayan pyramid, honestly. Okay. I like every war reminds me of. Nonetheless, though, the interview is entertaining to listen to. Okay. Because that's what it, the purpose of it is. Just, now, just to entertain. Yeah, of course. But I got a question for you. Yeah. Does Vlad, does, does Vladdy? Mr. Putin, Vladdy Dottie, we like to party, we don't want to hurt anybody. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just saying, does he speak English or is he speaking Sputnik? No, he's Sputnik and, he, I mean, he's got a translator. Excuse me. Yeah. Yep, he's speaking Sputnik, man. I say, how much? What was he out selling pierogies or something? It was just all pierogies and stuff the whole time. Listen, now, to me. who knows? Maybe the translation's even messed yeah, up. Yeah, who knows if the translation's done by like the new Iliad woman? The whole time he could have been like this. I'm going to fucking kill you. Yeah, yeah, and they're like, saying, yeah. He's like in three third century BC. <laughs> Get out of here with that. Yeah, you kidding? I'm getting the fucking breast put into me. Now, I'll tell you, speaking of bow ties or whatever, I could use some sock suspenders. I switched to the all cotton. There's no uh, elastic or anything. So I, you could find me in a Ren and Stimpy world with sock suspenders on pretty soon, honestly. You know what's going to happen with those fucking things. They're going to get real loose around your ankles. <laughs> <laughs> I those say, things are going to look insane. Ankles. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, when you're wearing your dresses later on, <laughs> those lit. things, uh, they're going to look real loose around the ankle, yep. I think. Yeah, it's going to be a little bit loosey-goosey, I think, for Chazzy. <laughs> <laughs> what is this? I'm trying to hook it up to my zipper. Okay, I got it. Yeah, that, well, anyway, I just had to say that. But um, interesting, it's interesting. Though. I'm sure it's interesting. You know me. I'll be honest with you. I deny all history. Uh, and I refute all history, to be honest with you. I'm on record for saying that, honestly. So when, when, it, comes to, when it comes to history, I say, if anyone's going to give me a history lesson, first of all, you subtract a thousand years from it. I mean, we could talk about the prior civilization, but whatever spiel, whatever spiel you want to give me, I say it's all got a hat on. It's, it's, it's the, the hat guy in the corner. For whatever the hell you were talking about earlier. Yeah, I don't know what the hell There's a shared psychedelic <laughs> experience. There's also people that live underground. You know, it's subterranean. Uh, there's a couple kind of hat men, but uh, we're we're talking Henchmen. about shared. Uh, we're actually talking about both at the same time. Do you say inch men? Henchmen. Oh, I was gonna freak oh, out. Uh, Putin's an inch man. No, just go, like I don't know. Just that name just made me crazy for one quick second. I didn't mean to shock you. <laughs> nah, it's okay. I we charge by the you know the mile, not yeah. by the inch. <laughs> not by the inch. So anyway, <laughs> it it was a. Uh, you know, it's always fun to listen to that crap, and, sure, I, and sure. I actually you think like uh, yeah, no, I, I think Carlson is is he's a talented, like he's a great actor, right? Yeah, I mean, yeah he's a great actor. So sure, like sure. he makes stuff interesting yeah. and fun. I'll be honest with you, I don't think he did a great job with the interview, but I do like him 
uh, as far as if we're taking it from an entertainment sure, sure. standpoint well, of view. Of course, yeah. I mean, um, you, know, you can take it however. You can take it up there. You know what? But maybe no. he was intimidated because we're talking to a guy who probably strangled and murdered thousands of guys. You no. know what I'm yeah, sure. yeah. KGB, Teddy KGB. You know. Right. Uh, I mean, of course. Uh, I mean, I've never, I've never really taken that into account. Any anxiety on the side of these, uh, these people. I just think they're privy to so much uh, a reality machine that. It's, I think it's all an act, but I mean, but anyway, it was interesting. Interesting, yeah, entertaining the whole way. I, I just miss, <clears throat> you You probably never watched really Glenn Beck back in the day. He was on CNN back in the day before he got thrown off and then went to Fox and he you know, just started wearing white and made, spraying his microphones <coughs> in white or something. You know him. Uh, but I'm not sure if you remember, but we all, uh, I don't know if you want to go there, but well, there's no real, really to go. But since we're talking about it, Glenn I really, Beck, huh? I look back at the days of Bill O'Reilly and I really appreciate that uh, showmanship and that the level of performance because I think he was the best to ever do it. Yes. And um, I, mean, I, you can I agree. You can politics. You can do this and that. Oh, he's harassing. You know, he's he's you know giving it to the left left towards. I mean, say whatever you want. That's all just trash. He was. Uh, he's a really in like a charismatic performative force that was uh, that was very interesting, especially when he was on Dateline or whatever when he had to do it live. Yeah, no, uh, that's the best. Obviously, that goes incredible. that goes down in history, but it really does. Like really funny. Way, way bigger and way funnily, way bigger and way funnier personalities with a lot more weight and density, in my opinion, than these days today. You got a guy in a bow tie. He's got a long. He's got his head growing his hair out. I mean, what's he gonna do? Tie it back in a bun and go down on the guy or something? I think uh, O'Reilly had the power of of being intimidating when he wanted to yeah, be. Well, he was a he was a tall Irishman too, so he was he's he was going to box, he's going to box you out. Yeah. Well, he was an old, he was always an old man, so you just freaking throw him down the stairs doesn't matter how tall he no, is. No, no, even now he'd kick your ass. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe that. <laughs> but I think he had that power to like uh, flip, just like yeah, he was Manson mesmerizing. Lamp. He, he was Manson mesmerizing. lamp out. Yeah, and uh, I don't think it's possible for Carlson to be an no. intimidating fella. No, he'd have to. I don't know. He'd have to pull some tricks, tricks and Johns, real sex HBO back in the day. Bunny he'd have Ranch. to put on like all white shoes and. Dun -dun, dun -dun, dun -dun. <laughs> he'd have to do tequila. Yes, he'd have to go on the top of it. Like, uh, uh, look who's talking. That's like me right now. Tequila. Dun -dun, dun -dun, dun -dun. I mean, who watches? Well, anyway, yep. I, I really like, I appreciate those personalities, and there really is, there is, there isn't the like on the other side if you want to draw up the dividing lines, if you want to talk about it by political ideology, at least in an academic, theoretical sense. Uh, there are no big, powerful figures that are funny and entertaining on the other side. They're all just losers, uh, honestly, and, and they just, they're, I mean, they they're just like fa They're faceless. Yeah. Like, nobody knows. It's no, not. they're just jokes. I mean, it's, it is what it is, but the, a lot of the, well, I mean, it could have something to do with just appealing to the base that they're looking to inflame and then be made, made, make them bereft of, uh, of everything as time goes by, as you see what's happening right now. But they just, like the b outspoken people just go to that side. It's just part, it's just like a WWF thing. I was just going to say, so yeah, if we know, think about exactly this from WWE, yeah. that's what I appreciate, you know, about this whole thing. It's like this, Tucker goes to Russia. And, and he has is. this interview there, which is something no one would ever yeah. do. Oh, that sounds familiar. Over, is, is he doing hell in a cell or is he doing a cage match? Over enemy lines to get this interview. Oh. So that's what oh. I appreciate. This is, it's fun. It's good. 